Hi guys, this is the basic calculator I developed earlier. Or you can just refer to it as a standard calculator. And it works just like any other calculator. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take you guys into visual basic development environment. And we put one of these together. Okay guys, so let's do that now okay guys let's start a new project i'm gonna click on create new pro project and right there is, let's select visual basic and we then select windows forms application give our project a name so i'm going to just call that bb underscore but let's just say standard calculator This calculator is actually at the request of somebody who feel the calculator on board should be standard. He wants a standard one. That's why I'm developing another one. So I'm going to click on OK. Okay, now my form is ready. I'm going to define the size of this very form. So let's click on properties. And right here, I'm going to change the width of approximately 444 by 528 there we go and I need a text box let's come in here you can use a text box or you can also use a label but I'm going to use a text box there we go double click on the text box and I will also double click on one single button that is it right there I have the buttons and I have the text box so what I'm going to do now is to enhance the size of both components so let's go straight to the properties again. I might as well just peg it down and come right to right here where we have the font. Okay, so let's change the size of the font to approximately, let's make that 24 bold. Click on OK. Right. Now, as for the text box, let's drag it that much and just drag it all the way. I'm going to also make it multiple lines so that I have control on it. Yeah, that is fine. The buttons, I'm going to change the size of the button to, let's go for about, I'm going to say, let's say 100 by 78. Well, that was meant to be this, the size. Let's come here to the size, paste that in there. There we go and what i just need to do now is just copy it across four across there we go and i will also copy it down in total i'm going to need 20 20 buttons in total there let's enhance the look of the form a little bit or maybe select it all and just drag the button up a little bit and move this up as well that's fine the next thing I want to do now is I need to now enhance the look let's say enhance the look of the interface let's add some numbers into them and I will also add a backspace here to achieve my backspace what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to word and let's click on insert and we also need symbols click on more symbols we need windings should be right here somewhere there we go and this is what we need right here okay I'm going to use that as my backspace click on insert and then we also click on the plus minus sign close that and close and just copy the backspace copy that minimize that make sure this button is selected come right here and paste that now we also need to change now we also need to change the font to wingings so let's click on w and just select that there we go that is that taken care of select this very one and let's copy the plus minus sign that is the plus minus sign copy it and just paste it right inside the text there that is fine and here we just need to call this ce and i'm going to call this c and 
like this with 7, 8, 9 plus subtract 6, 5, 4, 1, 2, 3. And this will be division. Let's make this one multiplication. And here that would be equals dot and zero. That's it. My interface is ready. So the next thing is select the text box. Come up here and just change the name of that text box to TXT display. Let's try that again. TXT display. There. And this will be backspace btn backspace this will be btn ce ce that will be btn c the next one is btn plus minus and followed by btn 7 there that will be 7 and so on guys okay now that every single component in here now have name so i'm going to now select the text box and let's change the text content to zero and also let's align it right there we go now what i would do is i will select every single one of these numeric buttons and let's include the decimal point and i will now come in to the properties right here let's select events that is the sign of events and what I want to do is I want to use a mouse click so inside the click event here I'm gonna give that a name I'll just call it click numbers or numbers click underscore click there and press enter there we go guys there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a local variable or write a local object that I'm going to call button and this button equals sender that is the object sender there that will take care of everything for me and the next thing I want to do now is I will use an if statement to validate whatever button selection that is carried out so as you can see uh, txt display dot text equals zero because we have zero in there and then supposing we decide to change whatever is in there okay so there i'm going to just enter txt equals let's clear that and we then say txt display equals b dot text there so that takes care of whatever data we have on any of those buttons and let's use an else if else if b dot text oh let's take care of that that should be else if b dot text equals that once if is that this is what i want the system to then do if using an if statement if it is not txt display dot text dot contains and um, what does it contain the uh, contains the decimal point or the dot then we want as follows txt display to display the following txt display equals txt display plus whatever we have inside b dot text okay right underneath here what i'm going to now do is i'm going to enter else if or else sorry this all of this here txt display equals that and that should take care of all of these buttons so let's increase the size of that so that you guys can see it but well, you have to make sure you select every single 
components, every single buttons we have in there. So I'm going to run that. Let's just see how it's going to work. Okay, guys, that's the program. I'm just going to click on that. You see, all of the buttons are working. Let's see the full stop or the decimal place. That's fine. Okay, so let's take care of some more components. Let, I'm going to take care of the backspace so that I can use the backspace on whatever numbers I enter in there. So first and first, double click on the backspace. So once again, using an if statement, if txt display dots, in this case is going to be dots length, where is it? That's it. Length is greater than zero. Then we want txt display, copy and paste that dot text equals txt display dot remove and that is meant to be whatever we have inside txt display dot length minus one comma one there we go there that should take care of my backspace however supposing I have a zero when I backspace and everything becomes zero. So I'm gonna run it and you see what I'm talking about. Now there's the program. And I backspace, look at that. It becomes empty instead of it becoming zero. Okay, it's all empty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use an, another if statement stating that when it becomes zero, I'm just gonna copy this and change things around. Come right in here and if it becomes zero, if it's empty, then we want this just to become default back to zero that's that's it that take care of that okay so when i run it now and look at that backspace backspace you see that we get the zero in there so that is fine that takes care of that so have a good look at the backspace the lines of code for the backspace now let's select every one of the operators now i will just select just these four operators in the case of the four operators come right down here and let's use operator underscore click and press enter okay in the case of the operator underscore click i'm going to create another object so i'm just going to copy that come right down here paste it right inside operator underscore click there but one thing that I would like to do before I continue is right up here under the public class from one. I'm going to declare as follows. So let's say dim first value as double. And I'm going to declare another one which is going to be second value as double as well. Or we can just put a comma in there, second value as double and result as double. Let it be lowercase. And finally, I'm now going to declare one, one more name, op as string. There we go. Right. I have all my variables that I intend to use in place. Okay, now let's go right down here. Okay, that's inside the operator. Remember, I selected all of the operators and just click in there, press enter, and I'm right here. I've already created an object called B. So now come right down here using first value equals whatever content I have inside the text box, TXT display else operator equals whatever I have inside object B okay and I'm going to now clear whatever I have in here okay that takes care of all of the operators now let's take care of the equal sign double click on the equal sign right away I'm going to just say second value 
equals txt display and let's use an if statement if operator equals the plus sign then we want the result equals first value plus second value and txt display the text equals result there that is that taken care of i will now copy this and use else if else if if it subtracts this becomes subtract copy that and if it's multiplication that becomes multiplication and if it is division and this will become division that takes care of equals now let's come in here we need to take care of plus minus in the case of plus minus using an if statement again if txt display dot contains dot contains is that then txt display dot text equals txt display dot text okay dot remove zero comma one else txt display dot text equals minus plus txt display dot text and if there we go and that should take care of the plus minus all right so now let's try out the program and see how that works okay in here let's say I select one of those let's say I've it's 89 we click on that and let's multiply that by 3 there we go okay and all we then need to do is we need to take care of this clear button so let's come right down here double click on clear in case of clear I'm gonna copy all of these and just paste that in there that takes care of clear and repeat the same thing for that I should take care of clear Okay, and that is all there is to it. So let's just run it one more time. Okay, I'm gonna say 45 plus whatever, and then multiply that by two, divide by nine. Let's subtract 14.22. There we go, guys. So with that, I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.